Hey, my name is John Foreman from Switchfoot. Did you know the last year that we in San Diego had enough local water supply to meet our needs in San Diego County it was 1946? That's more than 70 years ago, which says a lot for the people and places that take care of our water needs here in San Diego, including reservoirs to take care of us in case of an emergency. That's why we're here at the Olivenheim Dam in the hills west of Escondido to check out this enormous dam that most of us, even the people who live here, have never seen. Let's take a look at how water's made with Jerry Reed, who helped build this thing. Welcome to Elimenheim Dam. Man, honored to be here. This place is amazing. Well, I'm glad you can make it. Would you like to come inside? Not many people get to go, go inside this dam. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. OK, John, so we're going to go in the gallery. Okay. The gallery is an underground tunnel that goes inside the dam. Unreal. And we're going to go about 200 feet to the end here. And then on either side, there's galleries that go, go up the entire face of the dam. And this is a place where we can go to inspect what's going on with the dam to make sure that it's safe and reliable for an earthquake at all times. We monitor this dam 24 seven. So we have a 318 foot dam above us. And then over there, about 40 feet away is the water. Got fish. Got it's fish in that right water that too, yes. Yeah. And it's 8 billion gallons of water eight that we are billion. behind right now. This wow. dam is holding back. Just holding it, holding it down. Yes, it's holding it back. <laughs> Are you ready to go up top and yeah, take a look? Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Well, here we are. Wow. Top of the dam. Man. And unbelievable. It's beautiful. How long has this been here? So this dam was uh, started in the year 2000. That's when we started building it, and we finished it in 2003. So it's been over 15 years. And why was this dam built? So this reservoir and dam is part of a bigger system called the Emergency Storage Project. It's a system of reservoirs, pump stations, pipelines that are needed in case we are cut off from our uh, supplies. We import most of our water to right. San Diego. And if an earthquake or some other catastrophic event occurred, we could be without water in days. Right. And so the idea was to build a system that if we were cut off, then we could circulate the water around San Diego during, during that time for about a two to six month period. And during that time, we would repair the pipelines. Sure. So we needed water yeah. for businesses. And, yeah, we needed it for the businesses and residents to keep the economy going. So have I heard right? There's an energy component here at this dam as well. Yeah, there is. Uh, we create energy as part of this project. And so when we were designing it, we realized that we were much higher than Lake Hodges, which is about a mile away. Hmm. And we were connecting to Lake Hodges as part of the emergency storage project. So uh, we collect connected it with a pipeline, and then we put a, um, a hydroelectric facility down below. So what you do is you can spill the water down into the pipe, yeah. and it spins the turbines, and that creates energy for the region. Um, to have a dam like this is so amazing, to know that our community is, is taken care of to know that our water rates pay for these structures. And I also love the fact that we're reclaiming energy and actually um, capturing the energy of moving water. I mean, such a great idea. I'm thankful that our county is doing this. 